fact that there's these carts and that you can focus more on a child, uh, it takes away some of that, maybe that propensity to go in a more negative direction that I've seen in visitation. Today is Yomi. I think the literacy cart can bring what I, I call the blessing of normalcy in, in a place that um, is so not normal for most of us. And it's very intimidating. I mean, I remember the first time I walked into a prison and I, I mean, I, I had to act like this is fine, but inside I was, I was scared. And I can only imagine if I were a little kid. involved in prison ministry because I had a brother who was incarcerated for a serious injury by a motor vehicle. Before that, I didn't know anybody in prison and I didn't want to know anybody in prison. I think it's so important that we bridge the gap between parent and child when they're separated by prison. Hope you liked your book. Um, write me soon and I'll see you, okay? Having sat through visitations for at least 16 months when my own brother was incarcerated, I just saw these kids and and these signs that loomed in every prison visitation room that you're responsible for your children. And they had to behave, right? And uh, I thought, gosh, that's hard to sit there that long when you're little with nothing to do. Sometimes take me out of this place. We're not trying to take away the fact that the parent's incarcerated, but what we are trying to do is equip that parent to be the best parent that they can be while they're incarcerated. We can be changing outcomes here. We can be changing the direction of a child's future because they sat on their parents' lap when they were little in a visitation room and they read.